Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here's another goodie. Mm -hmm. Many of you don't realize how scarred up you are emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. So what do you do? You go through life sitting on the defense seat. You're always on the defensive. You're always offended. You always hear insinuations and innuendos and snide remarks that nobody's giving, but you hear it nonetheless. What did you mean by that? Ain't nobody said no. What are you talking Why about? did you have to say it like that? What are you trying to say? Say what? Oh, I heard you loud and clear. Oh, I know what you meant. Whatever. Oh, I heard what you said. No, no, no. I know what you meant. Ain't nobody meant. No. Oh, don't try to butter it up. Oh, you come on. You sitting up here trying to put me down. Trying what to talk down? like I don't know what I'm doing. I know you don't believe in me, but that's okay. I, I don't know what myself. you're talking like, about, yeah, I don't girl. even want to hear it. Next thing you got an argument ensuing and you're like, everybody around you is like, oh, no, not again. Not again. Where did that come from now? Now what's wrong? You're scarred and you don't know how badly wounded you are. And I got news for you, baby cakes. As soon as you get God in that mess and, have, and ask him to begin the healing process and you start experience healing after healing after healing, you'll find yourself not jumping to conclusions, not being so suspicious, not being so paranoid and overly sensitive and so easily offended. Ask God for inner healing. Life is so much sweeter. You can even enjoy people more. And your level of trust rises because you have no more need to be suspicious not based on your past.